A week or two later, I got a call from my agent saying, you're going to LA tomorrow to screen test for it. I said, oh, wow, well, uh, fine, amazing. By the way, here's 12 pages for you to learn for tomorrow. I went, ah, oh, ah, wow, amazing. One of the notes that came back was stick to my own accent because they wanted Crane to be English. Phew. Tom Mice, six foot one. To, I try to put as much into an initial read as possible. I have them wear whatever kind of costume they can. And then something about wear a big, dark, if you've got it, military style coat. And I've got a big, big lapel, so they'll say, that's lovely. It's perfect. But there are buttons missing. So instead of learning the 12 pages of dialogue, I was running around my neighborhood trying to find buttons to sew on the coat and then spent the plane trip to LA sewing buttons onto this new coat and then landed in LA and thought, oh my God, I don't know any of the lines. What's that? We told him don't shave for a couple days. Like we wanted him to have some growth and we wanted him to read with Nicole. I told him to stay in the car. Yeah, well, as you know, I'm insane and therefore impervious to simple commands. But Nicole was somebody that we actually didn't think we were going to be able to get. I got the script from my agents. And I sort of read it and thought, this, this is ridiculous. And I didn't necessarily see myself being cast in it. I actually remember saying I'm not going to go in for that audition. <laughs> to be totally honest, I was like, I'm not going in for that because it, no, it made no sense. So they sold me, and then I went in and did an actual audition. And I think it went well. Here's me what happened to me. When I was in high school, I was with my sister Jen and I walked through the forest at night and we saw something. And she just came in and did a read that was, was fantastic and emotional and funny. Didn't really see it clearly, but we found this incredible actor in Nicole who has a sense of humor, but she doesn't wear it on her sleeve. We blacked out. <laughs> Next thing we knew, someone saw us on the side of the road. And everyone said we were crazy. But not just the simple a skeptic like you might expect on the show. She's had her own experience with the supernatural. She's walking an incredible line. And then to find that the two of them on screen together for whatever magical reason that you never understand are just... You're just happy to be with them, and they work off of each other so so well. We just lucked out. So you were asleep for 250 years, huh? The Civil War didn't wake you, the noisy neighbors to the south. Did you get up to pee? I don't know about you, but I'm getting up to be every 75, 80 years. Maybe that's just me. Well, you're dumb. I'm afraid most of what you're saying is unintelligible gibberish to me. I walk in, and he looks, he, he looks a little bit nervous, but he had like an energy about him that seemed like really lifted you know and based on what i was doing i'm kind of i had like this you know kind of gruff character i was playing i thought right away that they complimented each other oh oh the symbol on this headstone i saw the same one in the page wall your wife the word that people have been throwing about a lot since seeing the the series is the chemistry um, and that was kind of instant as soon as we started reading together there was we were throwing ideas at each other and playing around and exploring scenes together and everything clicked Frank what more do you need to believe me you want me to say that the killer is the first horseman of the apocalypse and my proof is an old Bible that we found in a cave you witnessed your partner's murder with your own eyes why are you working so hard to deny it? Because I do not have the luxury of giving you the benefit of the doubt right now. The chemistry between Tom and Nicole was instant. 